let's go over another fake constraint tool from AnimBot called Grab and Release. I'm going to show you that um, using this uh, mechanical arm grabbing a cube, it's going to pass it over to this other arm, then that arm is going to you know, lower down and drop that cube onto the pedestal. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll first need to click somewhere on an empty space here below and then click on Anim Curve Extra Tools. Click Set Smart Key. Okay, then right click on one of these icons here and then you can go to uh, Temp Controls, make sure that's turned on. Okay, and then now um, click on this cube and then we're just gonna uh, click on this icon here and then make sure you click grab release space, grab release space, both position and orientation. It's gonna name it something cube. Okay. And then um, once you do that, you're gonna right click and then open up the temp controls panel. Click on that. This opens up here. And now um, as you can see um, from you know uh, selecting grab release tool, it creates uh, the temporary control for this cube. Next, we're going to um, click on the thing that you want driving uh, the cube, which is the, the control here for that arm. And then um, we're going to hit this icon. This is the grab icon and this is the release icon. So we'll click on that. Okay. Now it shows up here and it'll now grab that cube. Okay, so now we have it moving with the arm at this point here around frame, I guess 140. We're gonna have it uh, release. Okay, so we're gonna hit this and then we're gonna have this controller grab it. Okay, from there. I know that looks a little bit funky the way that did that, but uh, trust me <laughs> that uh, it should be okay. Um, so now that it grabs the cube, we're going to have it drop like right here and then um, hit this here to release it. Okay. And uh, now we have it looking the way we want it to. So grabs it, lifts it up, passes it over to the other arm. That arm's gonna grab that cube, gonna lower down and let go, okay? So cool. Um, right now, this is a temp control. This is you know a fake constraint. So we'll need to bake down the constraint so that the animation stays on the cube. We need to select that here. Sorry about that. We need to select the... Uh, actual control the temp control of that cube and then we're going to hit s here okay once we're done with that we're going to clear everything and make sure it's still um moving the way we want it to okay so we're going to clear that and now the cube moves exactly the way we want it to as if it was constrained and I'll click on the, the cube here and you can see that the animation was baked down onto the cube. And yeah, that was as simple as that. I mean, keeps the, the scene clean and, uh, you know, the animation just all on that cube. Nothing to, to turn on a blend, a blend attribute to turn on or off or anything like that. So, um, hope that helps. Um, and, uh, happy animating.